Uh, please welcome B Star uh, in presenting our Emmanuel Fr Francioni and Sergei Vladimirov. Hi, my name is Emanuele Francioni and I am the founder of Beastar. We are here today to introduce our patented inch accurate motion tracker for individuals and teams. We call it the QASP, quantified acceleration, speed, and position. Tracking your development is the answer for those who want to achieve a goal. This is true for everything. It is true for health, it's true for learning, but even more so in sport. Now, there are devices out there, wearable devices like the Nike Fuel Band, Fitbit, GPS watches, even smart watches, but let's be point blank about these devices. They are more motivators than real professional tools. Say you're a skier. Now, if you really want to improve, if you really want to cut your times, you need to decelerate three feet before the flag instead of five. Like that, you are going to gain around 25%. <laughs> but what can you use to measure such a distance? GPS is not precise enough. GPS has got an inaccuracy of 15 feet, if you're lucky. Or take tennis. Now, if you want to improve your forehand, you need to track two different points. You need to track your wrist, your swing, and your position, acceleration, and speed on the court. So basically, you need multiple observation points in real time. Now, the only device with which you can do that, in which you can have multiple observation points, as well as an inch accurate position response, that's the cost. Let me show you how. Sergey here is Bistar CTO and my good friend. We actually love to play tennis. We're not very good at it, but um, we do our best. And today we are going to do a couple of exchanges with these amazing rackets. And uh, on the application behind you, you're going to see our position. Well, not really our position, but how we are going to hit the ball, our strength, as well as the acceleration. We wear two different wasp devices, one on our wrist and the other one on our back here to track multiple, multiple times. Ideally, you would want a coach to take a look at our swing to give us real-time feedback. So do you want to be my coach today? Yeah, thank you. So here we go. Okay, <laughs> so how did it go? Well, there is no need for imagination, actually. You have all there. You can see the angle with which we hit the ball. You can see the strength with which we hit the ball. And you can see also our maximum acceleration on the field. But the real difference between Quosp and everything else in his in its inch accurate position technology, which is B-Star patented. So, Sergey, do you want to tell us a little bit more about the technology, how it works? Certainly. We got inspired by the same technology used to guide unmanned vehicles. We engineered the QASP core to analyze satellite signals instead of trusting the satellite data like normal GPS does. Signals are received by the QASP devices and the QASP access point which fuses the motion readings and corrects the satellite signal using the technique called differential GNSS positioning. That sounds awesome. But can I actually use it for a field other than sport? Absolutely. QASP is a platform. Its APIs were specifically developed to get the readings of acceleration, position, and speed in the most convenient way. You can use it in gaming, quadcopters, or even animation. In fact, you just saw us turning this cheap wooden rackets into a sort of a Wii controller. So as Sergey said, there are so many possibilities. But for now, we are going to keep a razor sharp focus on the team sport market for two reasons. 
there are 50 million Americans out there, kids or adults, and 18,000 pro sport clubs who spend roughly $319 per year the first and $35,000 per year the latter, and there is no technological solution for teams. There is no technological solution for real-time tactic anal analyzer or for injury prevention or even for talent scouting. The second reason is because Vistar owns several patents on net sensor networks, on our indoor and outdoor positioning system, and therefore we have a distinctive competitive advantage over the competition. So learn how you can be part of the quantified revolution. Go to www.bistar.eu. The very first 10 people that will shoot me an email at techcrunch.bistar.eu will receive 20% off on our development package. Thank you very much. All right. Bistar, judges, any of you guys want to jump in? Is it how many in the back? I saw three or no, no, one? it's just one okay. in the back to okay. To and the pockets on the other side are uh, no, no, this is just uh, our normal shirt. M and M's. Usually, usually, if you want to track multiple points, like you want to do animation, then you might use this shirt and have okay. multiple things tracked at the same. Cool. Can I try your wristband? I want to see if it's comfortable. Oh yeah, well, it's uh, this. This is just uh, just a wristband actually. Oh, it's in. Oh. If you want. It doesn't have the device in. in there? Well, no, no, the, there, is, there is the device. Oh. You can. So that's holding so it. So it wasn't together. clear to me. First of all, it's really cool. I thought Thank it was you. very fun. I would definitely use it. Oh, oh cool. That's is it possible. a platform for sports, or are you trying to sell it as an application service level for end consumers? Uh, thank, thanks for that question. Um, as Sergey said during the presentation, the QASP is a platform. It's actually a platform that yields measurements of acceleration, speed, and position. It is a platform. Uh, we are also launching today on Indiegogo our first application based on the Quasp platform, mm -hmm. uh, which is aims for uh, professional and semi-professional uh, athlete teams. And um, you know, keep it simple: speed, acceleration, position, the best and the most accurate. So I love that you're leveling up tools for sports analytics. Um, when I was watching the demo, I had a hard time following what was happening. Um, how are you thinking about the software not being overly complicated or being a bit more accessible to consumers? Well, actually, um, as Sergey said during the, during the how it works, uh, we have a hub which effectively does the differential GNSS um, calculation. This hub internally has got a web server, which is, and, and you can query these, these measurements basically like you would with a normal application. You can think of it like it is a server. So uh, effectively, all you need to do is just to have a TCP connection. The, um, the router, uh, it is called the POSP access point, um, <coughs> effectively is an access point. So you can connect to it via uh, Wi-Fi. Or uh, if you have a 3G, you can actually even remotely transport these measurements for whatever other service. The service is actually uh, just about these three measurements that are as precise as possible. The application that you saw is something that we developed just for today. And uh, it is uh, effectively just using, just connecting to our uh, router and getting these measurements. It is a, a Unity, it is a, a 3D uh, application. So your interrogating, I mean, the GPS system has to work all the time. So what's the actual sort of battery life of this? Because this is going to suck dry very quickly, right? Well, that, that stuff there actually is something that we came up with for rugby players, so it needs to be sturdy. The battery um, life is 13 hours for that one. Okay. We use our own patented sensor network just because of that, just because we, want, we needed it to, to last for, uh, for a long time. And so you're going to play you know, your game, and then you're going to go clo get close to your uh, router and upload all the data, or is it done real time? There are two different versions. One is the offline version, and the other one is the real-time mm -hmm. ver version, positioning and uh, speed and acceleration. 
So the sensor network effectively just in a radius of half a mile broadcast the data of that sensors to the uh, to the WASP access point in real time. You mm -hmm. do not need to upload anything. This is for our professional um, athletes, but we also want to hit the consumer market, and therefore there is also um, the capability of uploading offline, so it's not going to be a real-time service, all the measurements um, to your um, smartphone or iPad or whatnot. And what's the price point of this? It's $299, plus there is a subscription of $5 per month. How are you going to drive adoption of both your platform and your consumer product? Well, at the very beginning, this is what we are going to do. We are going to target with our real-time platform all the big uh, league. As a matter of fact, we white label uh, the Quas platform right now to a company named Sensorize. Uh, well, to actually several companies, but one in particular, Sensorize. Uh, it's an Italian company. And they uh, use the, their tools to um, monitor the performance of Cristiano Ronaldo, which is uh, a very famous soccer player in Europe. We want to build our brand on, you know, big player adopting it, also because there isn't really anything else on the market right now, apart from video analysis tools. And then, just with that name, hit the consumer market. And uh, effectively, it's just about being accurate. So the, on the consumer market, we are obviously going to go not with a platform, but with an application that is going to help them um, measure, for example, the, symmet the symmetricity of their run, uh, their energetic cost, and uh, all the different performance metrics that right now are used by pro uh, professional teams. Yeah. yeah, you'll have to sort of figure out the, uh, the pricing, because uh, yeah. Fitbit, and I was this investor, is $99, and their price point is the same as the other competition. If this is sort of much higher, it will work for the prosumer or the, the athlete, but you'll have a challenge to um, get a 3x you know, uh, price increase for the average consumer, I think. Well, I would say that the Fitbit actually has got a different kind of, kind of spin. So uh, with that device, you, uh, you can do effectively things that you cannot do with, with True. Fitbit. So if you want quality, you pay for quality. That's, that's true. And uh, we don't yeah. do cheap stuff. To be but my biggest recommendation is ending it. Um, if you could get professional sports teams to adopt it and allow consumers to, to actually tie into that information and watch their, their favorite and compare, players. And, and compare. And, yeah. and compare. And also fantasy sports teams that can like, use those stats. And, and collect the yeah, data. So I would recommend going that route instead of initially going after consumers directly. Yeah, no, that's exactly yeah. what our strategy cool. is going to be. Cool. Yeah. Thank so, you. Cool. So we're, we're out of time, but uh, that was B-Star. Thank you guys very much.